In this video, we're gonna be talking about the much neglected part of many uh, gentlemen's shoe care routine, and that is the edge dressing. Now guys, I run, and most people run, the Feebing's Edge Dressing. This stuff comes in brown and black, and it is the go-to product when you wanna take care of that edge. Now this isn't to be confused with conditioning. I really want you guys to make sure that you're hitting up the edge and the heel stack with whatever conditioner you put on the upper, uh, but it's gonna dye the leather and it's gonna recolor it. And so that's obviously the portion of the boot that gets the most water, gets the most rain. It's right there by the surface. And so we need to make sure we protect it. Uh, but to be a good gentleman, you want that part looking good as well. And that's why we're gonna color it. This is not only edge dressing, but a lot of guys will actually use it to add color to whether it's a belt or a rifle strap or some piece of leather like that. But customarily, it's sold as an edge dressing. Feebings is made in America and it comes in around $7 for four ounces. So this stuff is a steal. Guys, I've had this brown forever now and I feel like I'm never gonna get through it. It comes in a few little variations of a smaller bottle. Maybe that's what you wanna pick up. Uh, but I have the black and I have the brown. And so I'm able to hit up that edge for the, from now till the end of eternity, I imagine. Just like anything, there's a little bit of competition out there, but not much. Although you'd be surprised what your common boot care products sell on the side. You know, you may have your conditioner or your polish, but a lot of these companies actually end up carrying some kind of edge dressing or something like that. But this has always been the go-to option for all kinds of cobblers. Now next up, I wanna get into the ingredients list. California has done this right to no act, and so they've been able to give us a little bit of insight into the ingredients here. There's a link in the description for all that information. There's even a safety data sheet. I'll throw that in there for you guys if you wanna check it out later on your own time. But essentially, this stuff has a heavy amount of pigments and some solvents, and I'm sorry to tell you guys that it has some silicone. Now we really don't want that on the upper. It's gonna clog the pores and not let you be able to penetrate deeper with some of these conditions and nourish the leather. So we stay away from that as often as we can on the upper. I'm gonna give them a pass for that guys because it's just in such an area that takes such a beating. There's not too many products out there to go to. I haven't found any issues in the couple years I've been running it. Uh, but that's something I wanted to let you know about. That way you can make a more informed decision. So again, I'll have a link to that stuff in the description below. You can check it out and get into all the chemistry, put your lab suit on, and really try to figure out what's in there. Of course, a gentleman has to be informed, right? Smash the like button if you like being informed on what's going on your nice fine leather boots. Up next, I wanna put this on some leather. So for this, I'm going back to the Thursday Captains. Guys, if you watch a couple videos back, you'll see that I didn't actually need to clean them this time, but I conditioned them, and then we put a cream polish on top. So these things are looking next level, and I just had to finish it off by hitting that edge. So guys, this has a built-in little dauber applicator, and something to be cautious of, I'm out here in the shop, but if a bottle like this tips over, whatever you want or don't want, it's gonna be black or it's gonna be brown. And so this stuff is almost impossible to get off a lot of things. So just be cautious there. And then again, we're gonna go back to the stitches, whatever kind of stitching you have here. Thursday actually has a bit of a tan kind of Goodyear welt with some white stitching. So we're gonna try our best not to let it get in there, but we're gonna get it done uh, as good as possible. And so this stuff is meant to add a little bit of protection as well. It's not just pigmentation, but they have their own little polishes and creams in there as well. It's, it gets a little confusing, but I really have always liked this applicator brush. It, it really does a good job. I'm able to control it pretty well. Uh, this gets a little complicated for the average gentleman, but I think you'll be able to get it done. You know, this isn't maybe something you're gonna do every time you condition your boots, but something that just adds that next touch. And I bet, I bet your wife notices. So guys, I'm just hitting around the other side, making sure to get that heel stack right there. Coming across the toe really carefully. This is that Thursday where the, the toe peeled off on the outsole there a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna give them a pass on that. 
And when you're done, friends, you wanna grab some kind of rag. I like to use an old t-shirt and actually wipe it off. So you're not gonna let it necessarily sit on there because any of that excess is able to get on your pants. If you have some chinos or something like that, it's gonna end up showing on there. And I already messed up and didn't close the cap. So we're gonna close that, set that aside. And friends, this is looking really, really good. It's super dark right now. It does lighten up just a little bit, but guys, this is the treatment that every gentleman has to add to his routine because it just takes it to that next level. So as far as I'm concerned, guys, I got my boot trees in here. I'm about to put the laces on. This thing's waxed up. It has the edge dressing. It really honestly doesn't get better. Since factory, these are the best these boots have looked. I'm really impressed with them. I hope you guys found this helpful. This is an awesome little product. Uh, again, I'm gonna drop a link to it in the description below. Check it out, you're gonna have it for the next ever. Guys, maybe get some of your buddies around and share it with them a bit because it's just gonna go on forever. Guys, this is the kind of stuff we're doing over here at The Gentleman's Journey. I'm having a blast, how about you? Let me know by hitting the like button. If you haven't joined us yet, consider subscribing for more videos around guy stuff, a ton of boots, and more conditioners. So guys, until the next video, God bless you, and hey, don't forget to show those boots some love from time to time. Whatever you think you're gonna have, but friends, I'm gonna give it a pass. I'm just gonna give them a pass for that, and I'm gonna give them a pass for that. That's okay, I'm gonna give them a pass on that. <laughs> <laughs>